Roll, take track. Stand by Steve's mic. Ready VT red with your opening scene set. Ready red, ready Steve. Roll red. Stand by on camera, stand by nine. Live from Indianapolis, welcome to the 2015 Drum Corps Ready International 10. World Championships. Okay, three, wide shot of three solos on the right side. Ready, cross the blue. 15. And cross the blue, roll. Hello again, everybody. Steve Rondonero, delighted to be back in that DCI air chair once again. I haven't seen this season. My name is Tom Blair. I'm the producer and executive producer of the DCI World Championship broadcasts. Our mission is and always has been to try to make DCI and Drum and Bugle Corps look exceptional to the world. The whole process really starts a few months out. There's a lot of logistics involved, finding the right truck, getting the proper equipment in place, that kind of thing. But then the real important work uh, comes when the cores start competing. We travel around and we watch the drum cores, we make notes on the drum cores, we talk to people, we spend time with the staff that teach the drum corps. We're trying to learn what it is they're trying to put on the field. Because if we understand what they're trying to do, then we can capture it the best way we can and bring it to the audience at home. Six and three, weapon toss, left side wide, Ready, seven one. seconds. Take one. I'm John Flower. I am the associate director for all of the DCI World Championship video products under Tom Blair Inc. Depending on who's in the chair next to me, I may be helping with the timing of a show on the Cinecast. Typically making sure that we don't run long is the big thing that I'm doing, so I'm assisting Tom in that regard. When the cores are actually on the field performing, I kind of turn to my right, and I'm working with our, one of our directors, either Jeff Clark or Mike Mabbitt, and I'm assisting them in a variety of manners. Uh, most importantly, I'm assisting them in getting the cameras to the positions that the directors need them to be, or at least attempting to. The kids work on these shows for you know, the entire summer. Our crew only gets, you know, three chances to perfect not just one 11 minute show, but, you know, 25 11 minute shows. So it's a lot of, a lot of note taking on their part and Mike and Jeff's part. And, and then I try to facilitate getting the cameras in the position where the directors want them to be. Each show I'm, I'm saying, you know, camera four, left 25 yard line snares, something like that. Camera two, Right 35 bass drums. I'm just trying to just trying to use that type of language. I'm not the one that should be speaking. It's the director. So um, I want to make my point, say it, and get out of their way as quickly as possible because it's really the director and the camera operators are the ones. They're they're doing the dance. They're <laughs> they're creating the the product. I'm just there to sort of set the plate for them and get out of their way. I'm Jeff Clark and I direct the Top 12 Drum Course. Throughout the summer, we go to drum corps shows, kind of get comfortable understanding the shows, and I try to go as a fan and not be thinking about the camera positions and uh, how I'm going to cover something, but I just can't help myself. Come around San Antonio, Atlanta, the regionals, we'll travel down, we'll, we'll record on our iPhones just in the voice memo, and we'll almost make like a tape like we're talking to the camera guys, and then I'll transcribe that, and that's what the assistant director is reading. Quads now, and then two five trumpets, take three. rifles, and sabers on the right side. Back to four on Malice Ready after two? that. To the right side, too. Everything's broken down with the time, what camera we want, what the event is, whether it's uh, trumpets, mellows, uh, saber toss, and the location. And I'd say we have about six, seven pages of notes for a, a 12 minute show. Five, here comes the trust Ready ball. three, take three. Ready five, take five. And then four and three, horns left 35, and then two and five horns Ready on two. the right side. Take two. So the assistant director, he presets the cameras. He's He's reading my notes about five to 10 seconds ahead of the event actually happening. And the camera guys are hearing his voice in their left ear. And then they're hearing my voice in the right ear actually calling the camera shots. Two and five, you'll be looking for a solo seven. trumpet with a Mad hat or right 45. Two and five, zooming out and tilting up to the six, six, six. right 40 in 15 seconds. Ready two, take two. Ready one, take one. Here comes the trumpet solo on two and five. Right 45. Right 45, guys. Ready five. Take five. Two, Ready zooming two. out. Take two. Four, Barry solo I now. I need the books. Four, Barry solo, left 34. Three, uh, two, wide rifles and Ready trumpets four. right. Take four. And then three, low brass and dancers, left four, uh, left. 
two wide right, rifles and trumpets next. Take six. And then three Ready low two. brass and dancers left. Take two. Two high brass right side. Ready three. Take three. Two high brass right side next and ten. Ready two. Take two. And then two and six rifle feature on the chairs. Right 45 and Ready back one. in Take ten. one. Five and three high brass and rifles in the shot. Two on the chairs, just the rifles. Three, I had b uh, both the trumpets and the rifles and, and the shots. Ready, two, take two. And five and three, high brass and the rifles. Ready, three. Take three. Hold there and push. Three Ready, five. five. Take five. Three, snares, left forward. Ready, two, back. take two. Seven seconds. Ready, one. Take one. Ready, three, three take three. Target low next. In three. Two and five after the parking two, low. Take two. Seven screamer, Ready right five. 45, take four. Five. Ready four, take four. Seven screamer coming out two and five. Ready six, take six. Ready four, two. Drop set in the pit. Three and six, little red riding on two. 35. Ready six, take six. Ready two, take two. Control room is sort of a controlled chaos kind of uh, thing, you know, it's, uh, it's probably the best way to describe it. If you were just walking the door and sort of witness what's happening in here, it just seems a little, a little chaotic with so many people talking at the same time, but they're all talking to each other, everybody's listening to the person that they need to listen to, and they're all reacting to that, and so it, it, it's sort of weird that uh, it seems chaotic, but it's actually a very controlled environment. Sitting in here is one of the best seats in the house because we get to see everything all at the same time, you know? It's really sort of fun being in here because you're, you're a witness to all of it as it happens from every single angle and there's no other place that gets that. Remote production, anything and everything can happen. Stuff can break, go down, start on fire, you name it, it's happened. Doing a 5-1 music broadcast in a stadium has its own challenges as opposed to doing it in a theater or a controlled acoustical venue. The casual observer thinks it just happens by magic. And that's really the beauty of it. That's what, if we do it right, that's what they should think. But it's far from that. What makes the marching arts unique from a television production perspective is that it's just a custom solution. And it's a custom solution that has had hours and hours and days and weeks and months and years of thought put into it. And I think that would, that would probably surprise people to know how much thought we put into you know, every individual core, every individual moment. I would love for people to know how hard we're working to make uh, the products as, as good as possible from the Cinecast, the webcast, the DVDs, Blu-rays. So we hope certainly that people appreciate that and that we're doing it the justice of documenting the history of the performances on the field. Television production in general is really a team effort. You can't do what we do and make DCI look like Marching Music's Major League without a tremendously talented team of professionals. And I've been very fortunate to have some of the best in the business who come back and work with us every year to make DCI look as good as it looks. Ready to say goodnight. Ready red, sound full. Roll red, cross, track. Already fade to black in three, two, one. Fade to black. Hey, good job, guys. We are done.